All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is make a WebGL canvas. And I'm gonna bump up the size, go like eight by five, and then I'll do orbit control. And we'll draw a box. Awesome. Okay, next thing I wanna do is define a camera say cam equals create camera and what this is going to do for us is give us a camera object that we can access the properties of and it's going to be the same object that's being controlled by orbit control so as you can see down here when I console log this camera we have a bunch of properties um, important ones for this are going to be the eye in the center. So the eye is where the camera is and the center is the look at point. So you can see if I were to do something like this, uh, console log cam dot i x i y, oh whoops, I have to do cam dot i y cam dot i z. If I were to do that, then assuming I wrote console, not console, you can see these numbers updating. All right, so we're going to use that just out of curiosity. What is center x? I'm pretty sure it's just the origin. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, I think I knew that. Okay, so let's do. We need to figure out the angles. We're gonna figure out the pan. It's gonna be inverse function, inverse tangent, and the tilt. And what I mean by those are the left, right, and the looking up down of the camera. So I put together this little example here. So basically you have the camera, which is the position of the camera is the eye and the center which is the look at point and then we can move the center it doesn't really matter where the center is or where the camera is you can always think about the dis the difference between um, the center point and the eye point and we're gonna want to figure out the the pan angle whoops so this angle in here, that'll be like the pan, left and right. And then this angle will give us the tilt. So if we want the pan angle, that would be a tan two of delta z over delta x. So we'll do that. So delta z, which is uh, cam i z minus cam center z. So cam i z minus cam center z. And then the delta x is the same idea. Cam dot i x minus cam dot center x. So that should give us the pan of the camera. And then we need to figure out the tilt, and that is going to be delta y and this purple line here, which is the distance from the center to the eye, ignoring the delta y. So only you can use the dist function and only input the x and z values. So we'll do that. So the delta y first, cam dot i y minus cam dot center y. And then the distance from cam dot center x, cam dot center z to cam dot i x, cam dot i z. So now that we have the pan and the tilt, we should be able to translate to the camera and then rotate by all 
these pan and tilt angles and then we can translate out in front of the camera and that's what we're going to do we're going to draw stuff out in front of the camera that's not going to move relative to the camera for our heads up display so if i were to just do this and then draw a sphere of like 100 you can see now we have a sphere that's blocking our view and so now let's do the rotation we'll rotate first going to rotate the pan, look around left and right, pan Y, rotate Y of the pan angle, and then rotate Z, the tilt. And then we need to translate out in front of ourselves here. And now our X axis is pointing towards the look at point. So we've translated up to the camera, rotated, and now our X axis is now pointing where right in front of our face so we can translate out only along the x-axis and then draw a sphere and hopefully we see something okay so close but something is a bit off sometimes you just need to play around with things here okay now it's working so now we have a sphere that's always in front of our view no matter what but instead of a sphere, we actually want text. So I can try to do something like this and say like, hello, put it at zero, zero. That should be right in the center, but we get this. So you must load a font in WebGL mode. So I'm gonna try to do that. So let's upload a file. I have in, in consolata.otf. OTF is a font file type. So once we upload that, then we can load the font. So just like load image or load model, you can load a font. Uh, dot OTF. And I need to be able to spell this. And then call text font. Oh, we need to define it. So we'll say in consolata equals load font and then text font of that, text size. 26 and I'll also do text align center so it draws the text from the center okay so now it's probably doing something we can't see it so let's rotate y pi divided by 2 now we can see it but it's upside down so we just need to flip it up so then we can Rotate about the Z axis by pi. And maybe we need to go the other way, so then I'll be looking the right way. Okay, good. Perfect. And then we can say fill, make it black. I'll just do. Uh, Okay, so now we have that. And then we could translate this like negative 25. So you can see how like you can move this around kind of get it where you wanted it to be. Whoops. Maybe like in the top left. And we can say, maybe this is the health. And we can do another one.
Here we go the other way. 125 out of time. 125, negative 70, 0, and then we could say like 100 or something. And so now we have very basic heads up display, and it always stays right in front of our camera. It doesn't move when we move our camera around the scene. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching.